What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Peacock's streaming service new series, We Are Lady Parts. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Peacock Streaming Service for granting me the screeners to this entire new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Holy moly, this has now become one of my favorite new shows of the year. And if you watch it, I'm betting it'll become one of your favorite new shows of the year too. Muslim women, punk rockers. Who would have thought that such a coming of age concept could make for a hilarious, vibrant, imaginative and tantalizing story, which are all of the things that encapsulate We Are Lady Parts. Really cool title, by the way. I think one of the things that creator showrunner Nita Manzur did brilliantly here is that she makes a Muslim woman struggle in a modern world unabashedly the same as the struggles of any contemporary woman of any background, ethnic, or religion. So it resonates no matter who you are. Well, for one, adulting sucks, and I think we can all agree on that. And secondly, it's that friction between families, marital expectations, and who do you see yourself independently. So much so that We Are Lady Parts even has its own you can't sit with us mean girl scenario. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, you will be pleasantly surprised by how much you enjoy We Are Lady Parts. Written, created, and directed by Nida Manzur, We Are Lady Parts is about the highs and lows of the band Lady Parts, as seen through the eyes of Amina Hussein, a geeky microbiology PhD student who's on the lookout for love and is recruited to be their unlikely lead guitarist. Lady Parts' fierce and enigmatic frontwoman, Syra sees something in Amina. However, the other members, Taxi Driving Summer Aisha, Cartoon Drawing Bassist and Backing Vocalist Bisma, and the band's Wheeler Dealer Manager Mamtaz, are not convinced she is right for the band. Amina has never met girls like this before, and she's soon swept up in their joyful anarchic energy and punk spirit. But she becomes torn and caught up between two different worlds, that of her more straight-laced university friends led by her bestie Noor, and the world of Lady Parts. Will she be the key to the band's success, and will she finally find a husband? People generally have misunderstandings or misperceptions about the women of Islam. One look at the hijab, and they immediately assume it's a symbol of oppression. Well, not to the characters on this show. They see it as their identity, a point of pride. The five leads are fantastic. Anjana, Juliet, Faith, Lucy, Sarah. These are fresh faces. They may have been in the acting business for quite some time, but these are their breakout roles. And they're like the perfect fit for their respective characters. There's the overly cautious newbie, there's the tall one with a short fuse, and the bassist juggles motherhood, and the manager is always covered from head to toe, and their singer has relationship commitment problem. These ladies are as diverse as their issues and the neighborhood they come from. And get this, all of them actually had to play their musical instruments themselves. So there's no dubbing, no voiceover going on here. Which is awesome because what you see is what you get. What you see is actually them. They're genuine and authentic. Listen, punk rock may not be your cup of tea and that's okay. But trust me, 
one look at their rocking performance and they will convert you. These gals are gonna make a believer out of you. I understand that there's a big vibrant Muslim community in London, so it shouldn't be a shock that their current mayor right now is Muslim. Whereas in America, the Muslims are a minority that can be found in pockets of areas across the country. Unfortunately here, People still have negative stereotypes about them that's hard to shake. I can only hope that a British comedy about women of color, women of Islam, would find audiences here just as much as it does in the UK. Maybe shows like this can break down those barriers and those negative, fear-driven thoughts that shows like Homeland unfortunately built over the years. I'm just hoping you would give We Are Lady Parts a chance, and who knows, you might see yourself in these empowering characters.